safe. Yeah, I know. I have to stop by the lab and check out those proofs on the mayor's press conference. You better get in there. He's having a bad day. Mr. Jameson, Peter's here. It's about time. I'm sorry I'm late, Mr. Jameson. I got hung up at the lab. You have a special assignment up in Westchester, and it's something that concerns me personally. Now, sit down. Do you happen to remember the Harvey Kirkwood incident a couple of months ago? Yeah, sure. He was an arms manufacturer, right? And he got uh, killed in some kind of an accident? Yes. I knew Kirkwood. We belonged to the same clubs. He was kind of a hot-tempered guy. You know the type? Yeah, I sure do. Well, um, was there any kind of foul play? No, no. I'm convinced the accident was just that, an accident. But take a look at this. I got this letter from his widow, Lisa, last week. Does that look to you as though someone is trying to bilk her out of her money? She says here how the house is haunted by the spirit of her dead husband. Well, that's utter nonsense, but I'm afraid she's bought it. The Kirkwood fortune is set up in a living trust that Lisa controls. After her death, it all goes to charity, including a hefty share for the Associated Helping Hand. Your favorite charity? Well, that's beside the point. I happen to like the lady. She called me this morning, sounded very confused and frightened. Half of her servants have quit because of this ghost business. She's going to sign the entire trust over to some business called the Psychic Research Institute, run by some man named Polarski, on Harvey's instructions. I convinced her that she should wait until you drove up to Kirkwood, took a look around. You'd better do it right away. I have a feeling that it's urgent. Why me? Well, you're a graduate student in physics. I figure you could spot a phony when you see one. And uh, there might be a story, huh? OK, I'll get on it right away. I know I can trust you to be tactful. This lady's been through an ordeal in the past few months. Don't worry, sir. I know you can hear me, Harvey Kirkwood. Please tell us what you want. Harvey! Why do you disturb me? It's Harvey's voice. We want to know why you have remained here. Why are you earthbound? Guns. Rifles. Revolvers, bullets. I can find no peace. No rest. My wealth was grounded in death. Men killing. Lisa. I'm here, Harvey. Release me. from the New York Daily Bugle. Oh, a newspaper man, huh? That's right. I have an appointment to see Mrs. Kirkwood. We don't care too much for newspaper people around here. I'm trying to help Mrs. Kirkwood if I can. Now, will you open the gate, please? OK, but you better be good to the missus. Now, this here road will take you right straight up to the big house. Don't wander around because the late Mr. Kirkwood kept part of the estate just like his own private zoo. And some of the animals roam free around the enclosure. Oh, that's terrific. Just stick to the main road. I'll do that. Thank you. 
Behave yourself. Good dog. Mr. Parker, I'm Lisa Kirkwood. Peter. Mr. Jameson tells me you might be able to help. I'm just about at my wit's end. I don't know what's real and what isn't anymore. Yeah. This desk was in perfect order an hour ago. We heard noises and the maid came in and found it like this. I called Dr. Polarski immediately. This isn't the first time it's happened. And that isn't all. I discovered this. Now compare that with this letter of Harvey's. The handwriting's the same. I have no doubt. Well, it does look like the same handwriting, but I'm no expert. I've been researching the psychic field for over 30 years now. I try to gather enough data to substantiate any claim to paranormal phenomena. There is an abundance of evidence in this case. Such as? Four different witnesses have seen a light materialize over this chair. Well, Doctor, a light can be rigged. A note can be forged. I wish it were that simple to dismiss. But I'm afraid there's too much that's happened. Footsteps in the hall upstairs. Doors slamming in the middle of the night. Glasses broken. I haven't been able to sleep. My staff has left me. But I don't care. I'll do anything to help Harvey find peace. Well, I'm certain we're all interested in the truth of this matter. Are you a believer, Mr. Parker? I try to keep an open mind. Perhaps you could help us get to the truth. How can Peter help? Well, he's a photographer. He could come back tomorrow and try to photograph the apparition. It might satisfy all remaining doubts. This is the film you requested, Peter. I personally haven't had a chance to try it, but uh, several photographers have had success with it in ghost hunting. Thanks, I'll let you in on the results. Good. It's a pretty impressive setup you've got here. Very few people realize the pains we go through to authenticate phenomena. We're about to conduct an experiment on a subject's ability to influence magnetic fields. You're welcome to observe if you wish. Oh, no, I, I really should be getting back up to Kirkwood. Oh. Dr. Davis. Yes. Do you believe in spirits? <sighs> I'm not sure. Parapsychology is a young science. But tales of hauntings have been recorded for centuries. They represent a rich collection of phenomena that are not easy to ignore. Have you ever heard of an Anthony Polarski? Of the Psychic Research Institute? Mm. I don't know him personally. I met him three years ago at a colloquium. I found his book, um, Ghosts of Hudson Valley. Interesting. Do you think he's legitimate? Oh, I never heard anything to the contrary. But that doesn't mean I would vouch for him. I don't know his work well enough. I prefer phenomena that can be brought into the lab and tested under controlled conditions. Telepathy, psychokinesis, clairvoyance. Very few ghosts are willing to come to the laboratory and be tested. Harvey died in an automobile accident at dusk. It still scares me when it gets close to that time. It's understandable, Lisa. It hasn't been that long. Oh, it, it isn't the length of time. It's just that I feel terribly guilty about it. Harvey and I didn't exactly have a harmonious marriage. In fact, we were fighting most of the time. Screaming and yelling at each other. Throwing things. I, I don't even remember what set it off. But he stormed out. Some men drink. 
others drive fast. But I can't help feeling that he'd still be alive if we hadn't had that last fight. He's here. Stay close. We better see what's happening. Try not to be frightened, Mrs. Kirkwood. I'm trying, but it isn't easy. should take care of Mr. Parker. I just slipped while climbing down. What happened? I don't really know, but at least I got a couple of pictures. So there was something there? Yes, you were not hallucinating. Hallucinating? What you saw could have been a hallucination, caused telepathically and projected by yourself. Oh, but then I wouldn't have been able to photograph it. Correct. You have a number of theories in parapsychology to explain hauntings. 
None of them are very satisfactory. Dr. Davis, are these pictures from some other hauntings? I'd prefer to call them unexplained phenomena. One theory I find particularly interesting is that an object holds on to psychic impressions, and a sensitive person can touch it and receive those impressions. Psychometry. Well, if an object can do this, and perhaps a room or a whole house can retain the impressions of an individual, like Harvey Kirkwood. No, the force I felt was much too strong to be any kind of impression. Doctor, is it possible that these effects could be faked? <sighs> oh, they're totally a fraud. Done with lights and a projector. Well, then how about mine? Do you think they're authentic? Look here. This pattern in the light, too intense. And these beams could have been projected. But it's impossible to tell for certain. Your Kirkwood haunting uh, bears further investigation. You're supposed to be a scientist and you bring me back pictures of ghosts. Well, what if she isn't being taken? Are you trying to tell me that that ghost is for real? No, I'm not telling you it's for real. Well, of course it isn't for real because there is any such thing. I'm just saying that there is phenomenon here that is worth looking into. What phenomenon? Have you gone crazy? Mr. Jameson, there is an entire department of parapsychology at the university. Now, are they all idiots? Yes, they are. That's all a lot of bunk. I see. Well, you can stick your head in the sand, but you can't make these things disappear. I could take you off this assignment. But you won't. Not until I checked out all the facts. And I think it's time I go and have a good look at the Institute of Psychic Research. I told you you wouldn't get him to change his mind. Rita, he would not budge. I mean, I have never met anybody who is so close to new ideas. Well, you know what happens to people with an open mind. Garbage falls into it. Yeah, well, if anybody wants me, I'll be picking up some garbage at the Psychic Research Institute. Julie was trying to reach you. She's at the Psychic Research Institute. Julie? Well, how come? Checking out the Kirkwood story, too. But you have to admit that there is a lot of fraud in the psychic field, Dr. Polarski. Oh, of course there is. And also much that warrants investigation. Like the ghost up at Kirkwood? Well, now, how did you find out about that? The cook quit and needed money, so she contacted the register. They knew I was working on a story about hauntings, so they turned her over to me. Well, I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to talk about it. Mrs. Kirkwood has requested no publicity. Look, Dr. Polarski, now there's a lot of bad press on so-called psychic phenomena. You have an incredible track record in ghost hunting. I may not believe it completely, but if you can prove it to me, I'll back you in the article. Something as big as the ghost of a well-known figure like Harvey Kirkwood could clinch it. You're a very persuasive young lady, Miss Masters. But I'm afraid my answer is still no. It would cause me to break faith with my client. And you wouldn't want to put me in that position, would you? You have to have an appointment, and the doctor's booked up through next week. That's all right, Mary. I know Mr. Parker. Hi, Peter. And now, how did your photos turn out? Well, there was some evidence of light forms, but nothing concrete. Well, could you send me some copies? I could use them for the file. Well, sure, I'd be delighted. Doctor, do you keep files on all of your cases here? I'd be very interested to know how you operate an institution like this. Well, we're mainly a non-profit organization. Our funding comes from donations, research grant now and then. Everything is open here. You are quite welcome to look at our books. Thank you. I'd like to do that. Well, let me see, then. <clears throat> yes, uh, you might find these uh, duplicate files to be interesting. They explain my work much more eloquently than I could. Take them and... Uh, Study them at your leisure. Thank you. Oh, might I suggest, Miss Masters, that you join Mr. Parker? You'll find quite a few fascinating cases there for your article. Thank you. 
Oh, go ahead, take some. What? Seen a ghost? Here's a guy who died about a year ago, and he left his trust to Polarski in the Institute. Are you suggesting Polarski might have knocked the guy off? No, he had a history of heart trouble. His death was expected. Well, what is it, then? Well, it's just so similar to Lisa Kirkwood's situation. The will, the living trust. The idea could have been planted. It... Well, it's probably nothing. I need something real. I've got to get up to Kirkwood, but Mrs. Kirkwood won't see me. No, she doesn't like reporters. But I've got to tell you, I am less concerned with the story than protecting her. How? I don't know. Our situation has improved. We have closed the merger with Simpson Jennings Steel. And I am pleased to report a 10% rise in profits in the first quarter. Play that tape so much, I'm sick of his voice. I have to keep in shape. I'm pleased to report a 10% rise in profits in the first quarter. We were lucky he was so public. No, my friend, we were lucky he had that accident. I couldn't have planned it any better. Everything's ready. I planted the device in the library. You're sure no one saw you? I'm sure. Now, what about Parker, Doctor? I thought you said he couldn't survive your ultrasound treatment. I don't know how he did. But if all goes well tomorrow, it won't matter. Are you positive she'll sign? The lawyers are already preparing the documents. Then I think it would be appropriate if Mrs. Kirkwood joined her lately departed husband via a similar accident. Kirkwood called. She said it was urgent. You go right ahead, Miss Parker. Missy ah. told me you were all right for a newspaper, then. <laughs> now, you know about staying away from the animals. Sure do. Right. would talk to me if I could just explain that I'm not trying to give her bad publicity. Sorry, no chance. Look, doesn't she want to kill all the rumors about hauntings and ghosts and... Well, to be honest, about her being so upset that she's behaving irrationally. She says she wants no part of no news people, period, and that's it. <laughs> What's happened? I'll show you. Baron, come on. Baron, come on. Baron, Baron, it's all right. Come on. You see, I can't get him into the room. Here, let me try. Here's a good boy. Come on, Baron. Come on in the room. Come on, boy. Here, Baron, come here. What's the matter with you, Baron? Come here. Now, come on. Over here, boy. Come on. In here, Baron. Come in here. Well, there are lots of reasons why a dog might be afraid of coming into a room. Uh, he could have been beaten in it once. Of course. I'm concerned about that, too. The theory is that animals are more sensitive to spirits. So, in other words, Doctor, it's your theory that the ghost is settled in this room? That's right. 
I think we should discount the dog unless we can verify it. How? We could try an experiment with one of the animals from the estate. Well, there's no possible way that the animal could have been in the library. You mean bring one of the wild animals from outside into the house? In a cage. starting to get dark. Well, if there are no objections, I'll make the arrangements. Oh, please do. I'd like to put this to rest once and for all. Doctor, how long will it take you to get set up? Ooh, half hour, I guess. I'll be back. <laughs> that in a few more seconds, you would have been that bear's dinner. How do you always manage to be in the right place at the right time? Stay away from here. It's too dangerous. Look, Spider-Man, I'm very grateful for your help, but I know something is going on up at that mansion. I have to get up there. Don't be a fool. Go away.
not coming out of the cage. Something bothering you, Mr. Parker? It shouldn't, but it does. Well, I don't create these situations. I either prove or disprove them. Well, maybe we should try this experiment in another room. The experiment is sufficient as it stands. I'm not satisfied. I don't have to satisfy you. I've seen enough. Thank you for your concern, Peter, but I think you should leave now. All right, Mrs. Kirkwood. If the documents are ready, I no longer have any doubts. I'll do whatever Harvey wishes. difficult time. All right. Comfort, contentment, and happiness. I'd settle for peace of mind. Lisa, can you hear me? Lisa. Good night, Mrs. Kirkwood. Didn't... Didn't you hear Harvey's voice just now? Harvey? Lisa, come to me, please. You must have heard that. Just now, again. I'm sorry. Going mad. Of course not, Mrs. Kirkwood. Often a message is directed to 
And can it only be heard by one person? Lisa, can you hear me? Lisa. Are you all right? Lisa, come to the garden. I feel so strange. Would you like me to call a doctor? No. I must go. Why shouldn't I be here? Look, there are times when a story is not the most important thing in the world. Particularly when you've got it and I'm trying to get it. Anything I get, I will share with you. I just don't want you to get hurt. How? By whom? I think Lisa Kirkwood's in danger. Where is she? The house is a couple hundred yards that way. Why don't you go call the police? I'll see if I can find her. She's on her way. All right. <coughs> Sounds like our pussycat's ready. <coughs> as you're told and you won't get hurt. Stand perfectly still. Lisa.
Don't worry, I'll have you untied in a moment. Now, this is how they did it. When the cougar tried to come to the opening, he was forced back by an electric charge. Your dog was kept out of the room by high-frequency sounds that humans can't hear. Learn to imitate your husband's voice. I found stereo speakers concealed in the room. I've been such a fool. You wanted to believe, and they made it easy for you. I think it's time I left Kirkwood. I'd like to travel for a while. That sounds like a terrific idea. What about the trust? I'll change the will, of course. Charity will get it. It's what Harvey really wanted. <laughs> 